Hello and welcome to Glasgow Rangers Nation with me, your host, Owen, the channel that brings you your team every single day. And if you need your daily fix, if you've got to have that Rangers fix, hit that sub, ring that notification bell and give the, if you give the video a like, it helps out. Obviously, it doesn't lead to you missing, not missing content, but it does help the channel. Well, we've got a lot to cover uh, in our video today, talking about transfers in, transfers out, talking about obviously the... Um, training camp that is currently ongoing in Germany. Uh, what else have we got to talk about? We've got to talk a bit about what Kenny Miller has had to say um, as regards Rangers, former Rangers player, obviously Kenny Miller. Yes, he did play for that lot from across the city, but we can kind of forgive him that. Uh, I've also got a couple of mentions to do early on. So obviously, as you know, um, here at Glasgow Rangers Nation, we run our membership scheme, which is only 99 pence. But as I always say to you, I'm not going to charge you for any of the content. That's not how we work. You know, we're not a channel that's going to charge you to access your team every single day that's not our modus operandi that's a big word isn't it a good word for a sunday night is when i'm recording obviously for this monday morning now yesterday on our uh, live show the podcast that myself and victoria did uh, if you haven't checked it out go back and check it out it was the glasgow rangers nation q a featuring your questions and our answers to your questions it was your show of course um one of our fantastic members mr cammy k uh, gifted five glasgow rangers nation memberships which were taken up but uh fantastic of cammy to do that i want to give cammy a big shout out round of applause and thank him for his very generous action yesterday. I also want to give a shout out to a gentleman who does coaching of some young players, um, a guy who coaches Campus Lang Red Star, who are apparently a youth team, a guy called John Crozier. He mentioned he was got in contact with Victoria during the show yesterday. Uh, Victoria didn't see him, obviously, in the message in time because she was very busy concentrating on the on the pod. But he asked for a bit of a shout out. So I can give John Crozier and Campus Lang Red Star a bit of a shout out um, for their work with youth football in Scotland. Thank you so much for all you do for youth football, John. Fantastic indeed. Well, let's talk Glasgow Rangers. Let's talk um, the current transfer window. And obviously, Michael Beale has been exceptionally busy, hasn't he, with, with transfers in, transfers not quite out yet. That apparently is obviously on the way, isn't it? You know, that we will have at some point some players heading out the door. Guys, apologies if you can hear a squeaking in the sat in the background. My dog has decided that of all the times that he's going to start chewing one of his chew toys, now is the perfect time to do that uh, when I'm recording a video. Yeah, he, he loves doing that. Um, you know, get, getting involved, doesn't he? They, are, they, are, they love to get involved, so apologies about that. Anyway, obviously, Michael Beale has got now got to look at players that he gets rid of off his squad that's that is and that is something that you know that we've got to do because look we had a question about this on the uh, podcast yesterday talking about you know the worrying thing that rangers may have to make a profit this transfer window sell players to actually bring in players and whilst obviously we have spent money so far on the likes of cyril dessas and mark sam lammers there is now a need to trade out as it's known and bring money into the club. We are a club that has to live within its means. You know, we don't want to be in a 2012 type situation again. We don't want to be in a situation where we are again struggling. And unfortunately, that we are not in a financial situation where TV revenue, uh, ticket revenue, um, and other commercial revenue brings enough for Rangers to be able to survive without having to obviously sell on players uh, and raise money for player purchases through player sales. Now, one player who has been persistently linked with a move away from the club this summer, despite the fact that he only signed last summer and obviously did very well for me last season, 18 goals um, in an injury-affected season, is Antonio Cholak. Now, reading in the media today, it said that uh, Werder Bremen are heading up the pack that are chasing after the services of the big Croatian, Mr. Antonio Cholak, Mr. Tony Goals himself. Now, rumour has it that Michael Beale uh, wants to bring up to another three or four more players into the club throughout this window. But he has now been told that to do that, um, he's going to have to start sending out and selling off players. Now, whether this is solely a financial thing, who knows? It could not be, but it could also it could also be down to the fact that Michael Beale did commit to lowering the squad size, didn't he? You know, he talked about the fact that he does need to lower the squad size, that he wants a smaller squad. And at the moment, we do have 35 players on this squad. Now, Cholak has two years left on his current uh, contract. 
He's 29 years old and he moved last season to uh, Ibrox for 2.5 million in a deal from Pawak Salonika. You know, he did do well, didn't he, last season? 13 goals in his first 16 games before obviously injury affected his season. He did go on to score five more. But it looks like Michael Beal is set to sell on um, his top, one of his top strikers. Well, I say top strikers, was a top striker last season, wasn't he? Now, it's not just Werder Bremen who are apparently interested in Antonio Cholak. Um, other teams are also important, import, interested in uh, trying to acquire him, including MLS teams as well. As yet, we don't have been given names of any other MLS teams or any other teams other than Werder Bremen. Now, it's understood that the reason why Beal wants to sell Cholak is not down to his his goal scoring record is not down to the fact that he doesn't think that Cholak is a good striker. That's not what he's saying at all. It's believed that Michael Beale doesn't believe that his style of play and his lack of pace are, are fitting with the tactics that Michael Beale wants to employ. Uh, you know, Beale wants to employ this twin split, split strikers role. He wants strikers who are quick. He wants strikers who can create chances as well as take them. And that is not Antonio Cholak's game. So that is one of the reasons why I think that, you know, that Michael Beale is very ready to sell off Antonio Cholak. Now, it's uh, apparently the rumour is that Rangers would be ex willing to accept £2 million for the services of Antonio Cholak, which would represent a half a million pound loss on the player. So how true this report is, I don't know whether or not will Rangers are willing to take a loss on the player. Personally, I just think it would be ridiculous to take a loss on a player who did reasonably well last season, 18 goals. You know, scored goals is it will get, I think, score 20, 25 goals in a team that will supply him with chances. So, you know, you, I think you need to be looking for three to four million for the player. I think that perhaps a cut price deal represents a situation where it's just a case of getting players off the squad rather than any dire need to create any extra financial wealth for purchases of players. But uh, certainly very interesting news nonetheless about Antonio Cholak. My personal opinion is I would actually I would actually keep hold of Cholak. I think he is someone who can offer something. I think, you know, whilst Michael Beale has to be respected for the fact that he wants to play with these twin split strikers, he wants to play with that attacking pace. You've got to face a situation where sometimes plan A doesn't work and you need a plan B and perhaps having that target man, that man to aim for up front is something that we could do with next season. So hey, that could be the situation and that, that may be a reason why we could, in my opinion, keep Antonio Cholak. Michael Beale has also been talking about the rumours linking James Tavernier and Scott Wright with a move abroad to Saudi Arabia. Now, I know, again, it could be all paper talk and whatever. But apparently Michael Beale has laughed off reports of a possibility linking his former boss, Stephen Gerrard, with a raid for James Tavernier. Uh, obviously, if Scott Wright was to be linked, I think that could be a different matter. I think Beale would be more than willing to allow Scott Wright to leave the club. And I think that would definitely be uh, one that this club would jump at. Now, Michael Beale did say that he had had contact with Steven Gerrard in the past week um, after Liverpool boss was, con was confirmed, former Liverpool player, was so he was confirmed boss of El Etifak. I think that's how you say it. Uh, Michael Beale said uh, Wright and Tavernier were linked to, sorry, I do apologise, that wrong quote. Um, you know, he said that he had obviously exchanged messages with uh, Stephen Gerrard and he'd wished Stephen Gerrard well and told and said to Stephen what an exciting journey it was for him and how he was delighted to see him and some of the staff that Michael Beale had previously worked with, um, you know, back together and working. When Beale was asked about... Um, Stephen Gerrard and his limitless resources at LF Etifak, if he would consider um, selling some of his players. Now, obviously, it wasn't a direct name of Tavernier and of Scott Wright. Beale did laugh and say, it depends how much he comes with. Um, but I do think that uh, Michael Beale would be very loath to sell his captain. And I think James Tavernier, personally, would be very loath to re leave Rangers, despite the fact that LF Etifak could probably offer him a substantial amount of cash to go there, uh, you know, certainly life-changing money but uh, I personally think that he will stay and I think we should do everything we can to keep him I, you know look at the end of the day there is a situation where I know some some uh, Rangers fans don't have any respect for um, 
for James Tavernier. They don't like his defending. They think he, you know, he's not he's not the best player that, that we could have. That he shouldn't be captain. You know, my personal opinion is I like I like, uh, I like uh, him. I think he's a good player. I think he he does lead the team very very well. Um, I just think that you know he does get a bit of a bad press at times, and it's not very fair for me on James Tavernier. And like I said, I don't think Michael Beale uh, will want to see his captain move on anywhere soon. Um, now, former Rangers player Kenny Miller has been talking about Rangers' uh, summer transfer business and obviously plans for the future. Uh, Kenny Miller said he was very impressed so far with the business that Michael Beale had done this summer. I think it's fair to say that Michael Beale has worked exceptionally hard. You know, the fact that we haven't got a sporting director, the fact we have obviously got a scouting department, I know that we'll work with Beale, but a lot of this work has been left with Michael Beale. And Michael Beale's talked about the, the, the you know, the, the, the 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 way he likes to go and actually you know talk to a player look a player in the eyes talk you know talk him through his vision for the club and I think that has been a major selling point with a lot of players and some players have even talked about you know actually meeting with Michael and having that conversation with him what a selling point that has been um, you know Michael is now obviously in Germany with the team working out uh, you know working the team out, doing pre-season work with them. And I'll talk a bit about that in the video shortly. But Kenny Miller um, has been talking about what he thinks of Michael Beale's summer transfer business. Um, you know, he's talked about the fact that he respects the fact that, you know, the Dessers and Lammers have come in and that he's obviously trying to address the lack of scoring. He's also said about talking about the respect he has for the work that he's done with, uh, you know, him doing the actual transfer business himself, and also, you know, bringing in goalkeeper Jack Butland. Um, now he said, you know, he's obviously recognised that obviously these names are not spectacular names. Of course, they're not spectacular names. They're not get names that are going to, you know, particularly, you know, blow the world media out, are they? With you know the fact that it's Sam Lammers, it's Cyril Dessers, it's Jack Butland, it's Dujon Sterling, but. Kenny Miller talks about the fact that he thinks these players can come in and do a good job for Rangers. You know, he talks about the fact that other players that have been signed in the past, you know, when when they came to the club, Ryan Kent, Todd Cantwell, weren't thought of as being top, top players, but, you know, have gone on to be top players for Rangers. And, you know, that Kenny is very confident that that can happen again. Um, also, you know, very impressed with the signing of Abdallah Seema and what he brings to the club. Um, Kenny Miller also believes that Michael Beale is not done yet in his transfer business, and he expects him to be looking at at least another centre back and one more midfielder, um, as well as addressing obviously gaps created by certain departures. Um, you know, Miller certainly thinks that Glenn Kamara and Yanis Hadji could well be on their way out of the door this summer but uh certainly interesting that center back and center and midfielder comes up you know now that certainly that midfielder berth looks like it will be addressed very soon with the sizing signing of jose cifuentes but obviously um you know the fact that ben davis has been talked of has been a player to exit the club now, why has Ben been talked of? Now, Ben has been talked of as a player to exit the club because a lot of people don't feel he looks comfortable in a Rangers shirt, that he can't cope with the physical side of the game. But whilst, obviously, he's very good at playing the ball out from the back, he does lack a physical bite to his game and a, and a physicality, which you need to be a good centre-half in Scotland. And that's certainly something that uh, that Kenny Miller thinks that, you know, that, uh, that, that Ben Davis is someone who will be replaced. And he does see Michael Beale bringing in a left-sided centre-back at some point whether that be Jonathan Panzo, whether that be Austin Trusty, it certainly seems that that is definitely an option and certainly something that has been repeatedly talked about in the press. You know, personally speaking, you know, you look at what a lot of these ex-players have said and you obviously you listen to them, you take it in, you, you know, you take from it what you want. Now, my personal opinion is that we do need a centre-back. I think we do need to say goodbye to Ben Davis. I don't think he copes well with the Scottish game. The thing as well is when he hasn't got Connor Goldson again alongside him, he struggles. He really does struggle. And, you know, it's often looked upon him to step up, even if John, John Suter's playing alongside him. And he doesn't dare seem able to do that. Like I said, he lacks the physical intensity, I think, to play in the Scottish game. He can be out-muscled at times. I do think that we do need to go out and find someone in the transfer market, whether that be trusty or whether that be panzo so you know for me davis has to be someone i think we consider for an exit and again now we were up paying up to four million pounds for the services of ben davis we have not reached the point where we have to pay a full four million um it is only currently two million so 
I do think that, you know, if we sold Davis for two, two and a half, again, that would represent very good business by the club. Now, Rangers have released a number of videos and pictures of the team training hard in Germany. What's uh, refreshing to see is there seems to be a lot of work going on the, the cardiac fitness of these players, a lot of running, a lot of physicality going on. Now, this was something that I feel was really missing last season, was a fitness level. You know, Gio, I don't think, did very much fitness work, didn't do a lot of running with the players. He didn't really push that side, side of the side of preseason. And I think Rangers really suffered for that uh, as the season season went on and lacked fitness and I think that lack of fitness obviously got players injured as well so it's good to see Michael Beale obviously working hard on that side of the game and there's certainly some good videos there's some also a couple of decent videos on the Rangers Twitter Twitter uh, Sam Lammers scoring a pretty fantastic goal as well um, I think there's, there's a goal by Abdullah Seema on there as well so guys check out Twitter it's a really good uh, watch for some of these Rangers scoring and videos now you know there is also, you know, continuing links from the club. De Neo is continually linked. Now, rumours in Holland today say that Feyenoord are currently looking for another new striker uh, to back up Santiago Jimenez. Um, and if that per player does arrive, that they would be even more willing to sell De Neo. Now, obviously, Rangers have brought in Dessers. We have brought in Lammers. We have brought in Seema. We have got Kamar Roof at the club, Antonio Cholak at the club. And again, I think any further arrivals is very much deferred on departures. And I don't think that necessarily is all about money. Money. I think, yes, that does play a part, but I do think a lot of it is about cutting the squad size. And you may need to see two or three players go out before one more comes in. Uh, the Scottish Sun today claimed that uh, Rangers will make a new move for De Neo, um, having already having had a bid rejected. Um, you know, a number of other papers have said that uh, there is going to be a bid, but it will wait now until players are sold. So there's obviously conflicting reports out there at this moment in time. Um, it's very much, I think, the case that Rangers want to ship on the likes of Cholak, maybe even Rabi Matondo, before they go back in for Danilo. Um, but it does appear that Rangers are still targeting Danilo and are still watching him, are still communicating with Feyenoord on a regular basis. Apparently, the new uncertainty around Danilo is because of the fact that Feyenoord are interested in signing Kronen Zeitung, um, who is an Austrian forward for, uh, not Kronen Zeitung, that's the, that's, that's the media organisation, I do apologise. Uh, Sturm Graz forward Emmanuel Omega is the player they are, they are after. Um, apparently Roma and Salzburg are also interested and it, the player would cost 12 million, but apparently it is a case that... Uh, they do want to go in for him. And if they sign him, they would be more than willing to let De Neo leave to get some of their money back. That obviously will be of great interest to Rangers if they can get hold of De Neo. So some interesting stories out there this morning, um, or this afternoon or this evening, depending on when you are picking up this video. Guys, please, offer, uh, please put a comment down below. It'd be great to hear from you as to obviously what you think of the stories that we have put out there this morning. Once again, massive thank you to Cami K for those moments memberships that he offered out yesterday in the podcast. Like I said, if you haven't checked out that podcast with Victoria and I yesterday, please go back and check it out. Thank you so much for watching Glasgow Rangers Nation. Your support is absolutely superb. Please hit that sub, ring that notification bell. If you can give the video a like, I would really appreciate it. That's my first thing I want of, I would like you to do for me. The second thing I'd like you to do for me is the thing I always ask of you guys. Remember something for me. We are the people. <laughs>